Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Berry. And I'm Andrea Mock. Last Friday night, two Saluda High School students were driving home from their football game after an exciting night of playing in the marching band, but one of them would never make it home. 17-year-old Joy Andrew, she died when her car collided with another vehicle on Rocky Creek Road and caught fire. Her sister, who was also in the car, though, survived. News 19's Nate Stewart sat down with the family tonight. The father here, in this case, saved one daughter. That's but right. Tragically, just couldn't get to the other. That's right, JR. And it's a true tragedy anytime anyone dies in a car accident. But the situation is made even worse when you're helpless to save the life of your loved one. And that's exactly what happened last Friday to a salute of father. Tonight, his heartbreaking story of how he could save one daughter, but not the other. It's the fourth game of the season. Friday night, flute football, nothing better. The drumbeat of the student band fills the stands as the Tigers take on Branchville. It's just energy in the air. Hundreds in the community turn out for the game and halftime festivities. <laughs> School principal Harvey Livingston recalls this particular Friday. Everywhere from the spirit week to decorating the school, to um, our banners. Just halftime playing with the band. It's it was fun. 14 year old trumpet player Shayla Andrews was performing along with her 17 year old sister Joy. It was fun. It was homecoming. And my best friend, she won homecoming queen. Members of the band flew banners honoring two of the school's students who had died in years past. As it happens, one fan snaps this photo of a rainbow over the band. There was a ray of sunshine amongst the clouds shining down. It was really um, a perfect night up until. We got the phone call. My daddy, he had gave us the car, told us to come straight home. After the game, Shayla and her sister Joy packed up their band equipment and grabbed a bite to eat. And I got a piece of pizza, and I don't remember anything after that. We're waiting to come home, and we're just here waiting. The girl's father, Ernest Andrews, says that a neighbor knocked on the door, saying there had been an accident just feet away from his home. I just took off running because the car was already in, it was in flames. And I was just in pain, I ran. What Ernest hears next, he says he'll never forget. I hear my baby cry, Daddy. I hear her call her Daddy. And I had to go in there and get her. All I seen was fire, and I know that my car and my babies was in there. Both of my babies was in there. And the only thing I know, I gotta try to get them out. With the car engulfed, Ernest dives through the smoke and flames and feels a hand. And I start pulling her, and she slipped. So I just went on up in there and got my arms up under her and pulled her out. And then when I went back to get Joy to try to get her out, that's when the car exploded again. When I woke up, I remember, I think I was asking for my sister and they told me that she didn't make it. She was just the nicest person and she had a crazy laugh. Like her laugh could brighten up anybody's day. And she had the biggest smile. She was my best friend. She kept me out of trouble. More than anything. This wouldn't be the only time tragedy struck the Andrews family. In 2011, a third sister died in a car accident in Florida. Not this. It do not help no better the second time around. But I just did all I could to say just one. And I tried to do my best to say the other one. That's all you can do. And you know, any father would do the same thing. Any father would have went up in there and tried to get their baby. My daddy's second child, he got a bear. And I, I know it's hard on them and my mama for them to even have to bury a child. I know it's hard for them and then the fact that they could have lost both of us. I wish somebody could hit me and wake me up, but it's for real. It's for real. Cut, cut, ready, go. On Monday, a somber band practice ends with students leaving messages for Joy, but it wouldn't be the only one. Nobody will ever forget the smile that she always had. Up in the sky, over practice, Joy's best friend Jamie says it was a sign. Some people took pictures of it, and later we looked at it, and you could see her face in the clouds. We know it was her watching over us. While the empty halls will be without joy and her laughter, family and love is what the Andrews family say will get them through this tragedy. I just do what I think would make her proud. 
and make her happy with me. <laughs> As a family, school, and community all continue to mourn, they know eventually they will heal, not only because they have each other, but someone up above watching down. We're gonna do our best to make this thing work. And we'll be the best family that we can do and show our gratitude for Saluda County. Cause God is good all the time. And Saluda High School has started selling these t-shirts that say, enjoy life, to serve as a reminder for Joy Andrews and the impact that she left. The school says all donations will go towards helping supplement the family's cost. On Saturday at 2 p.m., the family says that they will be holding funeral services at the high school at Saluda High. You know, uh, the father had a choice here, an mm -hmm. impossible choice. He, he, he saves this one daughter if he goes to the other side of the car first. I mean, you know, this is just a tragedy. And, 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 and the father, you got to feel for the family tonight, mm -hmm. doing all he can to save his children. And what he told me, you know, was that if he had just showed up two minutes later, I mean, he wouldn't have had either of them. So. Oh, it's just heartbreaking tonight, especially hearing from her sister, who you know right. is feeling the pain more than anybody. Absolutely. But the dad's a hero. No matter what he did, the Absolutely. dad's a hero. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers go out to that family Absolutely. and that entire community tonight. Thank you, Nate. Mm -hmm.